Hello and welcome back to another episode of A Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man uh, run where I'm trying out the full version of Long War and I am loving it so far. Time to ambush a Advent Troop column to reduce the enemy strength here. We got 16 to 18 so that is six packs, maybe seven depending if they come in twos and force rating was high enough for vipers, stun lancers and even mechs to appear. We got a team of five though, which is good. We boosted this one here. Ataxia, Arclight, Frodo. Uh, then we do have the DM and uh, we do have Igor Kozlov. Good old Igor is helping us. And um, yeah, I think the DM was the one with the relatively low to hit rating for a ranger so we will need to find a solution here but gunner and ranger will be the damage dealer assault flanking support and scouting oh, let's go boys landed and this one is interesting it's just neutralized all targets there might be a couple of them um, as reinforcements are we going to Oscar Mike this no because there is no time limit might need Oscar Mike a little bit later okay let's stay here for now uh, the high ground will be reserved for the gunner by the way this here is also high ground that you can access by jumping down so that's not too bad i would like to use that Got it. <coughs> excuse me what frodo helps on the front and igor is going to be our expert in doing uh, going down stairs No advent inside. Got another high ground here. Not bad. Let's first and foremost start scouting. Nothing. Okay, well. Moving the designated coordinates. Before we dash over, Orders confirmed. let's out. be careful here. Confirmed. Oh, well, I saw something there. Here. Okay. Moving to designated coordinates. Good. That changes our outlook, of course, a little bit. Moving to position. Steady weapon. Contact. All right, multiple packs. We of course don't want to fight multiple packs, uh, which means we need to condense our um, position down to a single side. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening here? One second. Okay, back. Um, Heading to that location. Good, we're moving back up. And we'll just take the high ground for now. Let's do this. Double time. 
Good. Well, complete different uh, setup. What a pack. That is one pack. Triple, triple. Oh yeah, pack sizes increase with uh, difficulty rating as well. Hmm, how do we go about it? I need to walk off. Do we have decent full cover? high ground up here but that's far into enemy territory good to go got it dash it But I'm trying to use line of sight as much to our advantage as possible. So for now, let's just stay over here. <clears throat> I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. And let's hope that they are getting away. We need to let them get away a little bit more because here's the deal. Um, gunshots can be heard. Uh, from further away so 14 tiles is normal vision distance and depending on the gun uh, it can be heard all the way up to um, 32 tiles I think so 40 something tiles is the maximum that anyone can hear anything and that is I think the bunker buster technician uh, super rocket that uh, deals the most noise so that would be that and all the way up to here so pretty far but 28 um, is here, it's like two view distances or 30 ish. And that is loud weapons can, shotguns can be heard uh, from here. So more silent weapons kind of up to here. But the problem is if they shoot back, of course their friends will hear it, will be alerted and rush in and we don't want that to happen. So that's a little bit kind of the theory crafting behind the engagement routines. Taxia will be trying to flank as much as possible. I could keep that here to low ground, but I really want to use the high ground. This here is great high ground position as well. This, of course, is fantastic high ground position, but not in the current form. We need to find a better way of positioning. Scanning. Letting them go away and then we, we might be successful. Yeah, so much for going away. Their patrol path is very much back here, whilst uh, the other pack is moving back. This 6 2 plot here, or 6, uh, six 2 plot, no, 6 2 plot. This 6 2 plot here. That um, that is a problem. Okay, Rolling. moving up. Double time. Barely moving to the high ground so that we can flank. Frodo is continuing to stay here. All right, back. So, yeah, we can't do both of the packs at the same time.
Let one pack move away, and we'll attack the other one. Could move to here. The big fat explosion definitely would be a great opener. Alternatively, area suppression, but you cannot open with that. That would be great. Just area suppress and then they scatter and you get a lot of free overwood shots. But that would make it a bit like kill zone, so I suppose that's why they chose to not allow that. Could move to here, then throw the grenade. That'll hit four of them. That's around 20-ish damage, which is more than we elsewise could do. Of course, we could also try to hit that thing and get it down can't throw a lock of grenade anywhere near them but what we I mean listen what we could do is we could very much go up here, let them discover us and get a lot of overwatch shots, but they would get reaction shots as well. On the other hand, they are now getting reaction shots already. Overwatch. Definitely overwatch, 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 and overwatch. Hmm, now it is as isolated as it ever has been. I could hit those five together. That would be a great, fantastic grenade. Moving out. Need to get a little bit closer. Don't have blade storm, that's a bit of a problem. All right, overwatch here. That's the quintuplet we were looking for. Frag out. Uh, four, two, 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 four. Um, not quite twenty. A little bit l on the short end. That didn't do much. Grazing shot certainly didn't help us here. Let's move already. 
Moves up to flank. That should be a kill. So that would be full cover. Two, four, six, seven, but it needs to be a maximum damage, so it's a 33% chance of hitting. Uh, anything else in terms of going in seems a bit suicidal. So we'll take that, although it might not kill. That one, okay. Overwatch. Another grazing shot. Uh, close, but not quite. The poison did have no effect. Okay, he's now mind controlled and inside of the grab. Okay. <laughs> Incoming fire. Yeah, I was afraid that that might happen. Seeing more advent. Okay, uh, that would have been a great hit if we could have hit. Um, there's still an overwatch over here. I think we need to break the mind control first. Okay, can't for whatever reason do that and instead we're going to go down there trigger the overwatch nope we're not triggering it so we're triggering the other pack fair amount of enemies now engaged here so that we're safe and secure get the viper if possible. What's over there? Sentry or gunner. Both make a convincing target, but the gunner deals more damage. This gives us at least cover. So there is no shortage of us killing enemies. We've definitely killed our fair share of enemies. Yeah, do a binding, that's okay. Low amount of damage. Oh mm, god. Not good. Well, we can remove panicked. Hey, coming over here. 
That on the other end is a problem. Oh god, we need to kill the stun lancer. Prime target. This has gone from bad to worse. kill them all well you, we can over time but not right now need to free ataxia here fighting reflexes turn uses one action okay well that would be a good kill can we somehow get that stun on, sir? I need you to help here. Nice little flank, kill the sentry. Stun Lancer unguarded. And somehow we can't give over a teamwork here, elsewise I could move, kill, and then rush in and kill. That would clean up very nicely. Unfortunately that's not how it works. Killing that guy on the other hand would be very nice. Just double checking. That's not hitting more than one. Okay, maybe just killing is the better option. Yeah, I think whether or not you like it, That stun the answer needs to go. It's stronger four of the two. Okay, so I got one. I've got the loot. Good. Reloading. Reloading and I think we're killing instead of suppressing. Got the nice angle here. Okay. Tough crowd. To flank us. Lots of enemies here. Incoming fire. Very nice. Okay, back. Um Good. Well, where are we? I distinctly remember that Sektuid was asking for a spanking.
Fabulous. That's a two for one. Let's check if there is someone else. Oh, hello, Mr. Rocketeer. Nice little nine points of damage. And our glide is moving up over here. Good. We very much out positioned and outflanked these guys. Careful since I don't want to trigger others for now. High ground, high ground, reload, and let's come back to here to that high ground location, which isn't bad. could be taking this position for now that way we can always flank and attack sales moving back one sec good back in action so <laughs> let's Uh, just reload Overwatch, I suppose, and Overwatch. Let's take the high ground here. Oh, there is a pack. Ooh, okay. Good, lots of Overwatch shots uh, down there. which we in return reload and area suppress sit your bums down and let Saiken handle that go into full cover and nicely flank them I think that's what we're going to do. Sidewinder needs to die. Down to one, okay. <coughs> Let's try that again. That was the hit I was looking for the first time. It would be a great flink. Let's use uh, this. 55%. A protocol to make it uh, more difficult to get rid of the suppression and we're overwatching
was thinking about Oscar Miking. But we're doing it the old fashioned way. So we've got a couple of grenades with us. Let's remove his cover. Very nice. Which this should be a hundred percent hit and kill. We're still not through. Move into position. On it. Which in return means there might be another pack. Good, BDM goes up. Arc light goes up. We definitely need re uh, to reload now. I hope it's worth it. Done. And run gun would be helpful for the next engagement. Next turn, ever vigilant is up. Uh, not ever vigilant, uh, run gun is up. Okay, and we know approximately from which direction the enemies are going to come. Which means here we're moving over here. Roger that. And there. And right here, so that we can take high ground if needed. Good to go. I, I. Come get some. Overwatch. Overwatch. Heading out. Potentially back here. We're going to find out in a second. Arc light. Moves up, nothing. Which means getting up here would be helpful. Got it. Stepping off. On the move. Having flanking shots would be good, so our support can support very much when moving around uh, from flanking side. Okay, uh, triple sec, good. bit exposed um, let's first of all get uh, the overwatches off Good, there is a second overwatch but I can't target them Sure, because it, if it is out of a strange line of sight issue, yeah. Okay, now I can. Just 
barely can't make it there. This is the last pack, so might as well go in guns blazing. In this case, the sector has earned the right for shotgun to the face. Whilst we can directly hit them. It would be smarter to not do that right now. Moving to full cover. We can double move and ha still have ever vigilant. Which I will do here. Oh, that's flanking one. And that will be two overwatch shots. That's a hit, but unfortunately just grazing. Double move. Stupid. That's a full hit. Almost down. Double moves as well. Uh, not very smart. Let's do this. Want some more? Copy that. High ground. Flanking. Good. We ended up with 19, so the 16 to 18 was wrong. Okay. Do we get some promotions? Oh yeah, we get a lot of them. I uh, haven't really used the Electroshocker a lot so far, but that doesn't mean that it is not a good option. Interference was a good option, Medical Protocol will be an even better one. Arclight, uh, we're going for Shredder. The DM is bad with uh, to hit, so I'm wondering if I'm actually doing a shoddy build. Nah, poor overwatch fire, but uh, that will not solve the quote-unquote badness with his to aim. Hmm. I mean, he has every single thing that we would want from... Although this year Steady Hands could solve his aiming problem. And that could also solve it. Let's use the primary weapon for now. Good, we got a scope, which is well, well needed, and a suppressor, that's good as well. But, oh, and we got corpses, and plenty thereof, look at that. Finally, a mission with corpses. And we preserved every single one of them. Many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. I think, if I recall correctly, I wanted to do the next target here. 
the imperial fists uh, mm, the imperial fists and then theoretically speaking we should have everybody back and can put new squads out so of course we have a few um, tired resources and a few wounded ones granted but we generally could uh, could go ahead Good, 30 into East Asia. We could push deeper into Asia and get that continent bonus. Vigilance 12, by the way. We do have strength 4, so they put all of the troops here. We got strength 0 over here, so they moved all of that over to here. Strength zero here as well. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, you guys continue recruiting, please. Currently, that. And down here let's give you someone who supports you there you go okay helps them recruit which is uh, which is fine we we can get the haven advisors back any moment so yeah let, why not let's make contact i wanted to expand anyways all of our available communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Good. How long will that take? That's 13 to 15, 17 hours. Um, I really want to start with the, uh, with infiltrating the other missions as well and don't let that linger for too long. Specifically since this here requires an infiltration soon. Ugh, Project Miranda. Gotta hate it. Alright. So this 100% infiltrated. We got Hogbite here. Should be good, guys. Get a resistance contact and intel out of it. Uh, that's uh, fine by me. Let's launch the mission. Confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay. Uh, that seems like a small map with 18 turns so yeah a lot of lots of enemies okay try to wow okay yeah lots of enemies Let's take the high ground. Renvin is slow as always. Solid copy. And Russ, we can put. This is a better aiming angle. Get it done. <clears throat> Okay. Overwatch. Well, I tell you what, um, we will need to play very well with line of sight here. Oh, wow. Ginormous pack. We will need to play very well with line of sight here. <clears throat>
Let's get that sectored and hopefully we can almost kill it. Very nice. All right, you guys feel free to move. <clears throat> Feel free to move. Surveillance drone. Gets a nice little kill right there. And we know there is another pack, so can't just go there. But we can step mildly forward to flank him. Overwatch for us. Cover for Hogbite, just in case. Overwatch Ranven. <laughs> Shoots straight through the uh, rooftop. Okay. I have broadened your power. Amplified, and we are moving up. Potential kill. Very nice. It's a level of extra damage that I like to see from my soldiers. Okay, I'll go. He got that one. Good, second pack gone. Moves up, overwatches, and we're just doing all for one. Oh well, that costs us willpower, we don't want to do that too often. to here great I didn't want uh, the door to be opened Getting it done. can't free reload when we're out of actions hilariously Okay. Um, pistol Overwatch, yes, please. But we could have Overwatched this. Uh, that was a plain mistake. Should have free reloaded first, and then we would have had Ever Vigilant. Ready to go. 
Sentry. Check it before you get too close. Got the officer. Oh, moly, you are good. Holy moly, you are good. That on the other hand was not so good. Hawk White gets a protocol. <clears throat> This will prevent getting flanked, but the thing can still move. So one for all it is. Ouch. Another drone comes in. Stun removal, yes please. Good, that's death from above. This team here, it really just feels more like a walk in the park. Reinforcements are soon incoming. Okay. I don't think that there are going to be that much more enemy packs. Apparently there is one. Let's see what the reinforcements are all about. What's all that fuss about? Okay. Three troopers. One down. There is the pack we were waiting for. Revival protocol. Double 
Let's deal with the snake. Good, stun for one round. Okay, and Hogbite begins to very much move up. Coming for you guys. Changing positions. Oh, no. All right, we're locked on. That guy is going to die. Reloading, I might need the damage next turn. Okay, Hogbite leads the charge, moves to here. Shield bash moves the viper out. <laughs> that was good. Then free amplify. And there is the kill. Templar class completely busted. In a positive way. I love it. It's killing time. That's it. Viper down. Mike moves up. Got it covered. Russ moves up. And I think we're okay. Good, no more enemies, but reinforcements are coming soon. So Positioning ourselves here to get that VIP. Okay, end of turn. Got it covered. The numbers only seem endless. <laughs> Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Got the goods. Roger that. Teamwork over. Let's get moving and get that VIP out of here. Roger that. On the move. Cool. The Templar so far is my favorite character class. I, it, it's always been one, if not the favorite character class, but now. 
Oh my lord, it is busted with all of the free actions. Granted, they took Perry away. I'm a bit salty about that, but it fits uh, the universe very well that there is not someone who continuously parry. Wow. Okay, look, fortress, too good to not take it. And sustain is also very good. Here we got another crowd control, hard crowd control. Sustain also very good. I always liked Void Conduit, but we're doing safety first. I want uh, Hawkbite to survive, and these two skills here are absolutely crazy. Fortress Bladestorm, that's the wet dream of any Templar. Sustain on top of it, oh gosh, shut up, that's just crazy. It's definitely a hero class, let's hope we get the second one of uh, them really powerful. Maybe not the most damage in uh, the game, but the amount of CC plus tankage, that's really good. PCS Perception and we got finally the entire team back. Like everybody, <clears throat> unfortunately Hogbite now finally managed to catch the, uh, the tiredness as well. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but we got a good, uh, good set of uh, people together. Listen, this year uh, the Grey Knights—they are definitely ready. Um, we're now going to take the Haven Advisors out, and oh, okay. Secure Network Tower, squad size 5. So... Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. That could be Templar. Replenishing our resources. Shinobi. Ranger. Grenadier Sharpshooter, something along those lines. Could also uh, take a specialist in there. Yeah, Templar, Specialist, Sharpshooter, Grenadier, and since the Templar can do the scouting, and aggressive scouting nonetheless, um, we might want to take Uncle Nuber with, uh, with us, so that'll be fine. Since all of them take a bit of time, instead of Grenadier we might take Jarenx, so that could be one uh, SWAT. Okay. Um, Good. Commander, Is all of this your bond level two? Improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a Crazy. Okay. So. The problem with Long War is the days never seem to move forward. Like, you have so much to uh, do on the strategy layer. So, for starters, let's remove these guys here. This was um, Scientist, and we definitely want that Scientist, so it's a priority mission. This here will be a mission for the Prime Team. Then we got a smash and grab, that could be really any uh, team. And then we got a counter dark event. 
counter insurgency operations. Okay, that sounds uh, pretty uh, pretty elaborate as a mission type. So, for this year, Project Miranda, <clears throat> we want someone who can melee attack, because that means shooty shooty, not goody goody. All right, let me figure that out. Good, needed to work through all of uh, the uh, different chapters and I think we've uh, reassigned people. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, the folks are tired, so we will need to mix and match. The Grey Knights, I split them up um, and put them to the Imperial Fists as well. Maybe call them Grey Knights 1 and Grey Knights 2. Um, so, let's do the next mission here. For sector 16, Indonesia. So, as you can see, we got um, and there is a bit hmm, strange. I, I can swear I've uh, changed the assignment. Okay, never mind. We'll figure that out as and when time permits. Let's see. Wow, well, none of the other chapters are really ready. As you can see, we're a little bit low on manpower. So this mission here, 28 enter. <clears throat> Baseline 10 to 12, and we just need to recover an item. Those three are not bad for it, but I think we need another cover removal, which we might find here. We have plenty of time. So I wonder, is that going to be the team i think so yeah let me equip them good well, looks to me like a decent team might as well give you a little bit less mobility but ap rounds that way we have two people dealing with uh, heavier uh, targets and we should be more than fine with our team. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Good, with, which brings us to this mission. Okay, this team will lack, unfortunately, a little bit on the cover removal side. What a great setup. Yeah, we're already slow. Well, I guess it must be good positioning and uh, outflanking then. Nevertheless, let's go. So that's three missions, uh, three teams uh, who are infiltrating. And we got that tower mission, but that'll need to wait a couple of days for the actual Grey Knights to no, no longer be tired. So we would have Hogbite, Uncle Nuber, uh, 8-5, um, Jirangx and Johnny-5 going on to this uh, mission. So I'll quote-unquote earmark them, which leaves us with a Ranger, a Specialist, and then 12 days a Gunner and a Sharpshooter for more action. In the meantime, we can recruit Solid Snake. Five hit points, uh, decent aim. Let's go, baby. That sounds like a Shinobi to me.
Snake Plisket made his way into the roster. Good, let's make contact. And a new target comes up. Free captured re rebels, resistance personnel, resistance personnel, resistance personnel. That's one day, two hours. Oh, it's a bit late for that. I don't think that we will realistically be able to field anything there. Baseline is okay. <laughs> Swarming, yeah, not happening. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Cool, got another room. Now we are starting to get ready. We wanted Psy in three days, but while well, we're okay with the with that, I think we need money, and I'll get that from the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Blaring course. Uh, we got a lot of Advent Trooper corpses. Let me see which of the corpses are actually needed. Good, so various items require corpses, fair enough. Um, that's fine, we can always sell a little bit more. Don't want to overdo it. There are also other ways of uh, gaining supplies, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, I would like to build next either an infirmary or a training center. That, however, gets us into the power uh, supply struggle because we saved our money for the for the psi uh, for the psi laboratory. I definitely want to have the uh, the site training facility next and then afterwards we're going to build uh, mm, the power facility which we can actually build up here power relay or we're building power relay here and psi here and then up here trainings facility that would work as well this year Gives us another 50 supplies. Down here we're looking at another 70 supplies. So we're going to be fine. Just need to uh, stay put for, for a bit and then we're okay. So Psy facility, um, uh, there's going to be power. And what, are, what what's the other thing that we would want to build? Um, what, do, what, what do I value more? Uh, infirmary or training center. In training center would unlock a lo lot of power, but infirmary would make it so that we're getting back to action sooner. At the mere minimum expense of one scientist, that's almost nothing. So I think infirmary will take uh, take the higher priority here um, and then down here is the training center so that would be the order of things Setting course for East Asia. unfortunately you're no longer getting supplies anywhere else or fortunately it made supplies a little bit more valuable Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar front we've located the elders hunter Actively working in this region, Commander. 
Good. We want to recruit here. Four more days, so might as well do that. And recruiting here that. And recruiting there that. Or rather over here. There you go. So we got a lot of recruiting support. Do you want to heal faster? Is there anything else that we could do? Not yet. Four more days until we can start this infiltration here. I think it's direct launching the mission, maximum squ uh, uh, squad size. Okay. So. We have enough intel, we might as well heal a bit faster to get people back in action. I don't know if that reduces tiredness uh, faster as well. Mm. That's bad. They will not be uh, controllable as easy. And that on the other hand is totally fine by me but we got 100% 100% almost 100% they can uh, over infiltrate that's actually not bad at the moment we don't have anything else pressing to do I want to build psionics. People are getting back into shape. 47 hours and then Hawkbite is ready. And with that, we're going to do the network tower mission. So things are actually working well in our favor. And as long as there are existing missions, no further missions will spawn. Let's do a little bit stronger recruiting overall. I am sure you will find the results Finally. Psylab, Neuro Whip. Um, whilst that is fine, I think I would rather take the resistance radio so that we can get continent bonuses. Viper Autopsy is Battlefield Medicine, not needed so far. Trooper Corps will open up quite a bit, Battle Scanner and, um, and Advanced Weapons, so that might be a good idea. Now let's get Resistance Radio first, because we already have expanded quite a bit, and that is good. I agree. This is necessary to expand fast, uh, further. I've started to wonder how the Advent administration views our current band of renegades. Silab. Do they see us as an actual threat? One Hilarium core? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, you live and learn. Uh, I need to get a new Hilarium core, which will happen in one of the missions, I'm very sure. For now, I'm wondering if we sell a little bit more, we could at least get an infirmary going. However, that then would require to build... Yeah, I'm locked in at the moment. I want the Psy facility, so we're just saving up. And to be fair, we do have three missions that could deliver uh, that core. Specifically, we do have a smash and grab mission here. Easy. And recover item uh, could be could be good as well. So let's just do that. 
and we'll take it from there okay guys that's the end of today's episode a lot of planning as you can see as always uh, with long war but it is a fun experience thanks for watching and see you all later